although the system is not fully um, operational so far this video show how all the pieces of the project are intertwined, interconnected and um, what is the uh, level of progress of each one of them and uh, how it's supposed to be the overall operation of the system running the main routine of the system uh, it's basically gonna go through the whole process of first of all showing the samples of uh, each event class 1, class 2, 3, 4, 5 just for debugging because we are in a development stage uh, later on you'll see the um, FFT performed to those row values and you'll see the example and then the, uh, the, the you have the FFTs and PCA and down to the 3D personification of the whole system and as you see it's a little bit separable there you have this is learning the class this is this is the training data set for learning the classification rules now um, this is part of the video with a brief introduction to the system basically the first part will show you uh, role data here we have examples of the role data for each class Class 5. This is basically the raw data. This is the filter page version. This is another example. This is class 3. We're trying to classify 5 classes. Class 2. Later on, we'll see. We, out of those row, row signals, we extract the FFT, so taking them from the uh, time domain to the uh, frequency domain with the fast Fourier transform, and uh, this is the continuous, well, simulating a continuous FFT in this side of the screen, and then this FFT has been averaged by beans so it's like band gaps being averaged to create these small beans the norm as you see so for each channel we now have a frequency response for each one of the events still this is a sample of class 3 we can we can see uh, examples of all classes after we have done the um, feature extraction for each individual shadow we put this all these uh, features together to form one record which is cor corresponding to one event in this case we are trying to we're trying to capture uh, signals corresponding to movement of the arm up, down, left, right. These are the classes. For instance, this is class 2, which is basically down. So this is an example of the frequency response for the three channels together for the uh, uh, movement of the arm going down. Uh, once we have all these features, as you can see, we're talking about 120 beans. Actually, it's 150 because uh, we are doing 50 per channels at the beginning. Then we send this information to the uh, PCA uh, algorithm, which basically reduces the number of beans to seven as you see this is now an example of class five with only seven beans now in in these shots we can quickly appreciate how the system varies 
or how the signals vary from class to class so if you see class one two three four five which is up down left right and nothing after uh, processing the data with a PCA this is taking the first three dimensions and plotting the data colors represent the class since this is a supervised training we know the classes before so um, after polishing the system we managed to get to this uh, shape of the point so you can see now we have here one class one class one class one class over there one class over there but before they were not as separable as they look now still they are really hard to separate one from each other perhaps using a um, closer algorithm would do a better job than the algorithm we are using um, in this research we're trying to implement a classifier based on LCS and PSO unfortunately for uh, these five classes although the separation looks like pretty straightforward this is not after the, the system finishes learning the rules we will use those rules in real time to collect data this uh, electrodes connected to the arm and classify the data based on the rules that the system is learning. Um, this is part of what is intended to be the video controller, <laughs> video game controller, uh, basically to capture for movement, movements like up, down, left and right. We have these electrodes here to um, collect that movement left and right and these two here for recording the up and down events so this is basically the data collection system the system has finishes collecting data this is showing the sensitivity error over time and then we have the real time this is real time data collection from I mean from MATLAB if you see the here we have the movement left to right up and down and over there the system is trying to classify this is a um, rustic version while we are fine-tuning the system there you see it's trying to put, classify left up and down movement. This is still part of the development. This is just a window to know in real time how the data looks. It's three channels. One, two, three channels of data. And here we, we are supposed to capture the movement to the left and to the right. This is the raw data and this is after filtering, feature detraction and PCA for dimensionality reduction. So as you see it's only um, nine columns of, of information in the end. For some reason the biasing in the signals due to the uh, MATLAB interfacing with the bio radio is preventing us from effectively uh, classify the signals. If you see here, it's assuming that no movement is to the left. It's keeping that all the time. It's like in some occasions when we do uh, some movement, then it recognizes some other uh, some other classes. But it's like instantaneously it goes right into class moving to the left. Although you can see how the data moves in real time and how the PCA is reducing the information in real time. Too. Well, basically, MATLAB is computing the rest classifier, and uh, now we're going to show a little bit of how it's going to be the experience once you have the app. Uh, everything set up properly 
MATLAB is going to start by your radio to capture the uh, signals and also it will start a video game there you see the start in the video game uh, in this case it's just a 3d maze <laughs> um, this is an automated task it will uh, start the game this is the entrance now it's gonna start the game and there it is and we start capturing trying to do the break